to my channel. Um, thanks for stopping in. Today's video is going to be my empties video. I'm going to try and do this really fast um, because my parents are coming back home after being away. And I don't know when they're going to walk in. I've already tried this. This will be my third try trying to do this video. So let's see if we can get through it. Um, first item in my empties box is my Suave Shampoo which is the Moroccan infusion version. Um, absolutely love this shampoo. I use other things, but this is my favorite shampoo. Um, I've even tried high-end shampoos, same thing. I really like this one the most. Um, I'm a little disappointed because there used to be a leave-in conditioner that they sold. It was like in a tube and I can't find it anywhere. I've looked all over the place. So um, a little disappointed about that. And it's also annoying when your shampoo go leaves first and you still have a whole bunch of conditioner left over which is one of my pet peeves but um yeah this is one of my favorite shampoos love the smell of it i love how my hair comes out with it um so definitely a plus another one of my favorites now one of the things that i'm doing is instead of just doing straight up beauty aids that are favorites and empties um i'm doing everything that i use that might be that are empties and my favorites so another item that I have in my empties little basket over here is the Arizona Sweet Tea. This is the only iced tea that I really drink. Absolutely love it. Um, got hooked on it a couple of summers ago and I buy the big gallons of it. And then, you know, if they don't have that, then I get this. But my favorite drink um, basically is what I drink. Another item that I have in my empties is a natural multi-surface cleaner from the company Puracy. I had received a, through one of the review sites, their lotion. It was non-fragrant, organic, the whole deal. Absolutely loved it. Um, I thought it really helped my skin. I try not to use a lot of fragrant lotions and stuff all the time, especially like if I've gotten out of the shower and I just want to lotion myself up because um, I do have psoriasis, that's bad. And their lotion, I loved. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was really good. So I happened to contact the company and let them know and then they sent me a whole bunch of other items. And this is one of the items that they sent me out to review. Um, I like this a lot. It has the scent of green tea and lime. It's not overpowering. I like to use it actually to clean the litter boxes of my bunnies because it's actually not harmful to animals or humans. Um, has no dyes and bad you know, animal byproducts or anything like that. Um, it's developed by doctors. It's never tested on animals. It has all good things. So I use it for that, but I've also used it to clean off, you know, the, the tub and, and stuff. Um, so if you're into that kind of stuff, you might want to check out the website. And I definitely will put it up below so you know everything. They have a lot of great items. They sent me a whole bunch of stuff. Another item that I have in my empties box. This actually isn't empty, um, but I forgot to save the one that I, that I just used. I normally use... Um, Soft scrub. I do use that when I clean out the litter boxes to kind of get away the staining from the urine of the bunnies. Um, that's my main thing. And then I use the Puracy. I had used the Puracy also with it to test it out. But I had gone, I had run out of my soft scrub. So I'd been at the dollar store and I picked up the BabQ Easy Scrub, which is the knockoff of it. Isn't my favorite, but I mean, dollar, what can I do, you know, how can I go wrong with it? It still works, it's just that it's a lot more watery than soft scrub, where it's more thicker, uh, the consistency. But, you know, I bought a couple of bottles of this and I use it until I run out. Not the end of the world, but, you know, dollar. Um, favorite soap, Dove soap. Um, I use either the sensitive skin one, I use the plain white one, the original, I use the pink bar. Love Dove soaps. The only soap that I actually use on my body in the way of a bar soap. I don't normally stick with um, body, you know, the gel, shower gels or whatever, just because of my bot, my skin being sensitive. So I try to only use Dove soap. That seems to be the one that really makes me feel the cleanest. And also I like the smell to it. Although this one doesn't have a smell. Uh, another item is, now this I've had probably for at least two, three years. It's the Herbal Essence, um, set me up texturizing wax and this really is the only self like setting stuff that I'll use in my hair when I do I don't really use products in my hair um, other than shampoo like a leave-in conditioner something like that but in the way of like styling I don't use hairspray hair gels um, so I've had this for a while and I've kind of used it to the very end it's the best type for me because I do have short hair so I will have to look for it again I don't even know if they sell it anymore 
another item. Now I know I said that I don't use shower gels, but I happened to do a swap a couple of weeks ago and I swapped for a Bath and Body Works lotion. I didn't realize I swapped for the gel also. So I decided to use this because I'd run out of shaving cream. I used this in, re in place of it and I like it. It smells great and it, you know, at least smooths my legs out for the shaving cream and it's the Citrus Orchard Chill. And I like the smell of it and it works just fine for doing it as a shaving cream. I wouldn't use it as a body wash just because I don't feel clean when I use a body wash. I like my soap. Another item in this is the Crest Complete. Crest Complete with the scope added to it, the scope outlast. Um, I'm not really picky about toothpaste. I'll pretty much use anything. So this is what was left over in my toothpaste. Another item is from Poise. It's the Daily Freshness Feminine Wash. Um, I prefer to use something like this. Soap is not great, it's kind of irritating. So I like to use the Poise um, and it makes me feel nice and clean. All right, another item is from the Golshi Gabbana, Gabbana Light Blue Spray. I got this for my birthday, the little purse size. I normally have the big bottle and the lotion but um, I had run out of it, so I'd asked for it, and my mom got me one of these, and then I'll go and buy the big bottle before I start going back to work on Monday. And another item that I gotten through Swap, and I'm glad I got it through Swap, because I tried it out, but I'm not really a fan of it. It's Chroma Studio, the shampoo and conditioner. Now, originally I did like it. I do like it because it does give my hair shine. And at first when I used it, I thought I had glitter in my hair because it was that shiny. But the downside of it is that it doesn't make my hair feel soft. It made a very strawy sensation to it, um, which I'm not really a fan of. So yeah, it's okay, but not something I'm gonna buy again. I also got with this, it came with like a styling, type of stuff and a heat protectant which the styling stuff I don't like I think it's too sticky don't like it at all it makes my hair really sticky the heat protectant I'll spray on every now and then like when I use my um, flat iron but I'm glad I got it in a sand you know that size because it's not something I would buy again and then I have from a review that I did late, uh, a couple of months ago is sublime beauty the face whisperer neck um, lotion or face serum, however you want to call it. And I used this all up. I did like it. I like the smell of it. It did make my skin feel soft and revived, nourished. Um, so I mean, it is something that maybe in the future I will pick up. I'm always doing those type of facial things to try out. Another item I got for review was the Hyperbiotics Pro Woman, the perfect bi probiotic for women in health, promotes healthy flora and yeast balance supports vaginal, urinary, digestive, and immune health. So I've gotten this for review. I'm always looking at um, probiotics because I do like to take them. Um, I have some like, you know, like IBS and that type of issue. So in this pro woman one I saw, I said, hey, this is really good. And I liked it, didn't do any harm to me. And um, I think it definitely made a difference. Another item is from Equate. I just get the store brand of the Nighttime Sleep Aid, Maximum Strength. I have an issue with insomnia, so there are times when I just can't sleep at all. Um, and this kind of just helps me to fall asleep a little bit better, especially when I'm stressed out. Or I do have Graves' disease, which has been treated, but when I'm stressed, my levels do go up and down from my thyroid. And when they're higher, that's when the insomnia and difficulty sleeping starts to kick in, which has been very for a while now, for the good past year. Um, Johnson's baby powder in the lavender and chamomile. Have to have baby powder. Every time I shower, gotta have baby powder after. I gotta go under the girls, you know, in the other girly area. Um, just, you know, make you feel nice and clean and fresh. What else do we got here? Oh, another thing of sleep aids. He told you, Unisom. And we got the Live Ultimate Whole Skin Care from its Camu Advanced Youth Recovery Serum. It's all natural, made with organic ingredients. Uh, another item that I had gotten for review, I used it, but I forget because it's been a while. There was something about it that I wasn't thrilled with it and might have been maybe that it was sticky. That could have been it, possible. 
and some Burt's Bees face cleaning towelettes that I got in a swap. And I do not like these. I've gotten these in the past. I feel like they don't do anything. Um, they're not wet and more. I like my face wipes to be wet, like dripping wet. And these were very dry and I, I just, I had to use a lot of them. They weren't like big, they were small. And maybe it's just because these were a sample size. I got this in a swap. Um, so maybe that's why, but I'm very picky with my, I'm always buying face cleaners to see which one I like the most. Now, the last two items that I have, I'm very sad to see them go. Um, I'd gotten them also through a swap. I would never have been able to afford them if I was to buy them. They are a very high-end face and eye serum. Um, I gotten them through a swap, and at first I was like, oh, come on, like, you know, the w website, these things are like $200, $600 for a, a thing of it. Um, so I was like, what really can this really do? Well, let me tell you, the difference in my skin was amazing. It really, really, really made a difference. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be able to afford to buy a thing of it, uh, or two things of it, actually, but it was really nice to actually get the sample of it and to try it out. So, what they are, it's from Forever Flawless. Look at the packaging on this. I mean, just this in general is, a, you know, a head turner. Um, and it's diamond infused eye serum. So there's actual little things of diamond that's put into here. This is um, the one I use this to like go for under eye, around, to take away the puffiness. Definitely, oh my God, so amazing. Really, really good stuff. I'll put the link so you can even check it out. I think, I wanna say this was like 200 or 300, I believe, for this. And then the other item that I got also from them was the Forever Flawless Diamond Infused. Hydra AM Moisture Complex. Again, look, just look how beautiful this is. I mean, I wish I could take this out and like use it for something else. Gorgeous. Same thing, I think this is like three or $400 for this thing. Amazing, I mean, absolutely amazing. I, I can't say anything bad about it. Let's put it that way. Awesome stuff, very sad to see it go. I wish that I could make it last longer because I would be sticking to this all the time. Um, and that is it. So that's my empties. Here's my empty. I got a little basket from the Dollar Tree too the other day. So that is my empties for the month of, I want to say like July and August, even though the end of August is coming up, I'm kind of behind. So I'll probably end up doing my empties where it's like two months together. And it's just that of once a month, unless like I get a lot of stuff for one month. Um, so those are my empties. I hope you like what I had and I hope you don't mind that I was kind of doing a mixture of everything. I just think it's different than doing just beauty stuff. Um, so if you haven't liked my page, please give me a like and um, subscribe if you haven't, if you like me. And if there's anything you have any questions about, feel free to uh, hit me up on YouTube. Otherwise, I will uh, see you guys soon. Bye bye. Thank you.